So I have the filter in order, I'm going to replace it with, I mean, the first one I'm going to replace it with is the PP sediment filter. I mean, the next one I'm going to replace after the sediment filter is the granular carbon filter. You see you hear the carbon in there. The third one I'm going to replace, the third filter is the carbon block filter. In the RO membrane after the carbon filter. Then replace the post carbon filter and the UV tracer light. Now it depends how much water you use. Like the first three filter, I use to replace them every six months to a year. Again, it depends how much you use, how much water usage you use. With these, I usually replace it one to two years, okay? And a UV, UV light, it goes out, it depends. Usually it goes out about six months to a year. The light actually goes out, the UV tracer light. You can see it uh, when it goes out. There's no light underneath, underneath uh, well, in the cartridge. But again, the first three, I recommend replacing every six to, six months to one year. And, the RO membrane and the post carbon filter replace it about one to two years. Okay. And today I'm going to replace it. Today I'm going to replace the system in here. And it's uh, the first three filters, it's about. Uh, it's been about eight months, so today it's gonna to be about eight months when I replace the three, the first three filter. But the RO membrane and the post carbon, it's gonna be about uh, over a year, so I'm gonna replace that today too. So today I'm gonna to show you how to replace these. Um, super easy, real simple, and I'm gonna do it the easiest and cleanest way as possible for you guys to see, so you can kind of do what uh, I do. Okay. So before you start changing out the filter on the reverse osmosis. You want to shut off the, the water valve to the storage tank. Okay, so I'm going to do that first. So after you turn off the, the water tank valve, you want to make sure you turn off all the water line, okay? one line to the reverse osmosis system because you don't you don't turn off again the pressure the water pressure is going to make it very hard to take these uh, first three filters out it's going to be very hard to take it out a lot of pressure so make sure you turn off the water valve to the tank so the next thing you want to do is turn on a faucet to release all the water release the pressure from the reverse osmosis system and this is what this is going to do is going to make it a lot easier to open the filters with the wrench and there won't be so much pressure so I'm going to go ahead and change the, the sediment filter first okay. this filter this wrench here um, all the reverse osmosis comes with a uh, wrench here so it you stick under here okay just like that once you get loose and you can hand twist it here already loosen it up a little bit here okay. oh see all that water 
Let's see how let's see how dirty it is. Food dirt. Ah, uh, it's actually not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. I've seen dirtier, but this one's not too bad. Okay. You can see all that stuff in it. You know, I'm gonna rinse. I'm gonna take it to the sink and rinse it a little bit off. And this is the new sediment. Super white, super clean. Just put it in it just like that. And then you counterclockwise it. Of course, you want to make sure your ring is sitting there correctly. Your ring, so it won't leak. I always want to double check that. Okay, I hand twist it. Later, I'll go back and I'll. Just hand twisted it and then and tighten it. You don't want over tighten it, right? You want to just tight just enough so it won't leak. There you go. That's good enough. Again, I'm using a little towel here. Next thing we're going to change out this granular carbon is this one. Put the wrench underneath here. Oh, pretty easy. It come right out. See how bad this is. See all the stuff in there. Okay, that one wasn't too bad, but that one's been about. About a year to two years, a year and a half since I last replaced it. And this one, you gotta make sure, make sure that the top. You see the one, the filters in the bottom, the one with the valves, and you want this to be on top. Yeah, just like in the, just like the picture, okay? See that? Again, tighten up my hand. Okay. It's tight, you don't want to over tighten it. And the last one I replace is the carbon black filter. And this one's been about a year and a half here since I replaced it.
This one's not too bad. Carbon's still pretty, it's okay. I'm gonna replace it anyway. Before you put back on, make sure the seal is good, sitting there right. And the carbon doesn't matter which side you put it in first, which way or as long as it's sitting there. Clockwise again to tighten it with the wrench. Don't want to over tighten it again, just a little bit. Okay. That's it, that's all to it. So the next one I'm going to change is the post carbon filter. This one's pretty easy. You just got to take out the these blue uh, pressure holder here. These blue blue connector. So the next one I'm going to do is the post carbon filter, and this one's pretty easy. Just got to take these connectors out on each end. Take this one off. I dropped it here. Take on the other end. And it's going to leak here. You lift it up. Okay. Press it in. Oh. You want to make sure it says flow. You see? You want to make sure it says flow. That's flow in the right direction. So, so as you can see here, it flows this way. So I got to make sure if the post carbon filter flows is connected the correct way. So I'm going to, I got it right here. Okay. And flown that way so this one says flow that way so I, I do got it right but that's very important you want to make sure it's flowing correctly put the connectors back on Okay, that's all to that one. The next one I'm going to swap out or change, replace is the Graner Activate Carbon Filter. Okay. So is that is this one here, okay? First, you want to disconnect this, so you're gonna open it. 
I got these connector here. Got a little analysis of this here, but okay. Kind of tight spots here. Okay. Get this off. Let me twist this here. Clockwise opens it. Oh. I'll take a little wrench here, I just pull it out. And see how dirty it is. Open the bucket here. So you want to put the one with the two seals in first. Push it in here now. You feel it. You feel it. Here. There you go. Okay. Let me take a little rag here. Wipe it up a little bit. Tighten it back up. You want to tie it tight, just tight enough, not over tight it, but tight enough where, of course, where it doesn't leak, but you don't want to over tie it too. And put the whole connector back on. Okay, let me put this back on. This connector. Okay. it to that one that's all so that's all to it pretty simple pretty easy to change out all the water filtrate and water filter for the reverse osmosis system and the, the last thing I'm gonna do before I put it back in underneath the sink is I'm gonna turn on the water here to make sure it doesn't leak so I'm gonna turn on the main water valve here The wire going through. So far, so good. No leakage. Let's fill it up. Whenever you turn the water on, you also want to turn on the water tank valve. So I got the the cold water line turned on and the water tank valve turned on. And if you do that, you want to run about a gallon, about two gallons, I would recommend about two gallons to clear out the new filter system, new filters. So once you turn off the valve, you hear it's it's good, it's not leaking. You want to run about two to, two to three gallons of water through before using it. But yeah, that's all to it. And then I, I recommend just run it uh, a couple of times. You want to look for the next couple of days, make sure it's not leaking, double check it. Um, 
you know, usually you, you will know if it leaks. You can, you can also buy like a sensor that uh, you put down there. If it leaks, it, it notifies you, it beeps. Um, I have a link down there if you wanna, you wanna purchase that, but um, I usually just check it every, uh, every twice a day, make sure there's not leaking. Yeah, that's all to it. Pretty simple, easy, and then now you can enjoy your uh, clean water, drinking water. Um, and uh, I tell you what, taste it does taste a lot different than having city water.